guys, so today I am going to be sharing with you another Timu haul. Uh, this is an order that I placed myself and I did already try out some of the products so I have some reviews of the things. Amelia has a review of something. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to get straight into what I picked up this time around. So far I have been pretty happy with everything I have picked up and I did I have one of the items of Amelia's to show you. So she's down here growling at me because she wants it back. So I'm going to start with that. That way she is. <laughs> okay. So anyway, this is the toy in question that I purchased from Timu. Um, this here, let me see. I paid... What did I pay for this? I paid $10.98 for this toy. <laughs> Amelia absolutely loves it. Um, really nice quality, nice thick materials, um, and very durable. She is a very aggressive um, dog when it comes to playing with toys. Um, she destroys toys fairly quickly. And so far, she hasn't destroyed these. Um, they're is another one but I couldn't find it she has it somewhere in the house I'm not sure where it's at but the really cool thing about this is that all of these little toys come out so you know you can put them back in and you know your dog can like snuffle them out and pull them out um, she's even been playing with just the this large piece like the the sweet potato field, basically. Um, but she absolutely loves it. And these are like the perfect size for her mouth. And she loves the little green parts to chew on and things like that. Just really nice, um, like quality item um, and at a very good price. One thing I will say about this, um, the easiest way to get these back in is to kind of twist them while you're sticking them in. Um, because otherwise they're a little hard to stick back in. But if you give it a little twist, then they go in perfectly well. So I'm going to lay this down for her. She's not going to be happy though because I'm not playing with her. So I'm sure she'll be back. Do you like that, Amelia? Okay, I did get a couple of shirts this time around. This is my first time purchasing any type of clothing off of Timu. So the first one that I chose was this Harry Potter themed one. It says the Leaky Cauldron on it and it has kind of like that splatter type of look to it. I thought this would be perfect to wear um, this fall you know, close to Halloween. Um, all the shirts, I chose an extra large just because when I was reading reviews, it seemed like um, some people were saying like the clothing fits on the smaller side and that type of thing. And from what I am seeing as far as the shirts that I purchased, um, it depends on the material of the shirt. Um, this shirt here is kind of like, I wouldn't call it a silky material, but it's not as cottony. And I think this one fits fine. And um, I think it's pretty true, true to size, basically. Um, the other ones that I'm going to show, share with you that are cotton, I feel like I could have sized down on those. So if you know, I purchase another shirt again and I see it's that type of material, I'd probably choose a large instead of an extra large. Uh, but this one is an extra large and I think it fits perfectly fine. And this shirt here, I paid $7.97 for. So I think that was a really good deal and I really like that one. Next thing I got was a kind of um, insulated uh, drink holder. Uh, has a really pretty floral design to it. These are perfect for iced coffees. 
I'm obsessed with iced coffee. Uh, anytime I'm out and about, I'm usually at Starbucks or Dunkin' getting an iced coffee. It's my my addiction. So these are really nice. They're nice in the summer, so your hand doesn't get all uh, like sweaty with the 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 ice water. And obviously, they're going to be good for hot drinks as well. Um, you know, just to protect your hand. Eric purchased me one of these, um, they're called Java Socks. It's off the website javasocks.com. Um, he purchased me one for Christmas one year and you know, they're not as cheap as these ones, but I mean, the quality is pretty much the same. Not as many like fun prints to choose from, but still really nice prints. I mean, this one is pretty, I like it. And this was only $2.48. I think you might be able to get different sizes on these two. I'm not entirely sure. But, I mean, it's the same quality as the one that he had gotten me um, from Java Sock. So, I would definitely pick up more of these. Because sometimes I forget to take them along with me. So, have one for the car, the truck my purse so here is another shirt that i picked up this one is a sweatshirt and it has this really cute design on the front of these skeletons and it says tis the season to be spooky so this is perfect for fall halloween again this one is an extra large it's pretty much the same kind of material as the leaky cauldron slightly thicker you know like a sweatshirt um would be but again, I feel like this one fits pretty well as far as it being an extra large. So nice quality. I really like this. And I paid $9.39 for it. So I really like that one as well. All right. So the next shirt, again, um, I got this in an extra large. And this is more of what I would consider the cottony material shirt. So this one here I feel like is a little big and I could have sized down to a large on this. Um, it says fueled by K-pop and bubble tea. Guys, I'm obsessed with both of those. I absolutely love K-pop. So if you're a K-pop lover, let me know down in the comments. Um, so these shirts, like I said about the sizing, also the, I'm a little concerned about the the decals on them because they are very you can see how it's like a little silky you can hear that feeling I'm not sure how long this is going to stand up um to washing so I'm curious to see um how how well these hold up I'm a little I'm not gonna lie I'm a little nervous about these so if anyone has purchased t-shirts from Timu that have these types of decals on let me know how they're holding up for you. Um, this one here, I paid $8.99 for. And like I said, I would size down on the cotton ones. Um, oh, I'm also wearing one. This has the same type of decal. And it's got these cats in a noodle bowl. So this one here, I paid, I paid $8.49 for the one I'm wearing. It fits fine. It's just a little bit baggy. And like I said, I'm a little concerned about the decal but it's a really cute shirt and I like it I'll just get the last shirt out of the way so we can move on to some other stuff Amelia somehow got her hair on these things so this shirt here again that same cottony material I got an extra large and could size down and this one has a really cute print on as well but again it's that same kind of decal feel that I am slightly concerned about so we'll see we will see how those hold up and that shirt I paid seven dollars and 19 cents for next item came in this box I already took it out because I did her like I used it so I could talk about it a little bit um so this is a jewelry cleaner they call these like ultrasonic ultrasonic jewelry cleaners so basically it's just, um, you would put your jewelry in here, your eyeglasses, what have you, and when you turn it on, and I'll put a little clip of it, it going. Um, it just, like, vibrates, uh, like, 
a lot kind of thing so it's gonna like vibrate off any um, dust and dirt particles and things of that nature so you could also put a little soap in this a little jewelry cleaner what have you um, other than just using plain water um, if you wanted to you can just use plain water that's perfectly fine and um, there are little suction cups on the bottom so it's not gonna like vibrate off of your counter or wherever you're using it it does have a lid you don't need to put the lid on you can keep the lid off when you're using it it doesn't matter um, it comes with a recharging plug it will work just by charging it up because it worked like as soon as I took it out of the box um, but then there is like a five minute clean a three minute clean and then the power on button it's kind of loud but I mean it does what it's supposed to do kind of thing I have an ultrasonic jewelry cleaner I've had for a very long time and I use it to clean my jewelry but I want it's it's kind of an odd shape and this one here is like a better shape to put my glasses in and that's essentially why I wanted to purchase one with like this shape uh, specifically for my glasses so you could put your regular eyeglasses in there sunglasses what have you um, you know I think it works perfectly fine and I paid eight dollars and eighty cents for this next item I picked up was this really cute first aid box it says medicine box on it this came in different colors um, I chose the pink it has a little handle here and it kind of reminds me of a caboodle and even like the little clasp here it looks like a pill which I think is so cute so when you open it there is a tray and it's a nice sturdy plastic it's very much reminiscent of a caboodle so essentially you could use this even for makeup if you wanted to um i pretty much have like all of my first aid stuff like my neosporin and band-aids and stuff like that just kind of in a cupboard in my kitchen and i kind of want that cupboard for other stuff other than like medicine cabinet related items so that's why i purchased this that way i can stick it upstairs in one of my smaller bathrooms and just put it like underneath the sink or something so that's what i plan on doing with that i'm just going to fill it up with like the band-aids and the neosporin and pretty much first aid type stuff um, I'll probably keep like the Advil and the things that we use most often down in the kitchen where it's just easier access for us. But I thought this was cute and I paid $6.57 for it. All right, I'm obsessed with buying stickers off Timu. Uh, I like putting these in as little freebies when, you know, my subscribers purchase something from me on eBay. So that's pretty much why I bought these and I thought these would be perfect for Valentine's Day. So it's this baggie full of these vintage kind of themed Valentine's Day stickers. These are really, really cute and they're all different kinds, um, all different kinds, all different sizes. And a lot of them just look like the like the vintage Valentine's Day cards. So I got these specifically for, like I said, um, when I'm sending out eBay packages. So these will be perfect for um, Valentine's Day. Oh, and these are Easter. So there's different ones in here. It's not just Valentine's Day. It looks like Valentine's Day and Easter ones. So really cute and these are super nice quality um, and fairly large sized as well. So for all of the stickers I paid $2.48 for them. I want to find some Christmas related ones. Alrighty, um, this is a bra I purchased. So this is my first bra purchase on Timu and I got an extra large in the bra. And it looks like this it's really pretty it's black with like a scalloped edge on the bottom and then it has a little heart there in the center i already tried this on it fits perfectly it's really soft material like this the whole material of this is just really soft and feels really nice on it doesn't it doesn't dig there's no underwire or anything like that but it's like still has the the necessary components to it that'll help support your boobies. Um, I'm a B cup, so I don't have like 
the biggest of boobs, so I don't know, you know, how supportive it would be for larger boobs than, th than that, but uh, for me and my little bees, we're pretty good um, with this, so I was happy about the quality of this bra, and it was only $3.57, so I would totally buy more of those. Um, I don't like to show stuff like this because, you know, even with bras, it's a little TMI and stuff, but um, I did order a pack of panties as well. Um, this was for a pack of five, and again, I got a size extra large. So they are these floral designs to it, and they come in all different colors. They kind of have a high waist on the band, which is nice because it will go over any kind of muffin top that you have, and there's kind of like a that edging in there that helps it like stay up kind of thing so it doesn't roll down off of the muffin top. So if anyone understands how like annoying that can be when you're wearing panties, then you know. I have tried one on and they're really soft and fit really well. So and that's what the back looks like. So for five pairs of panties, I paid $9.39, which again, I think is a great deal and I would definitely buy more of those. Uh, this was just a random purchase. I picked up a little LED black light flashlight. Um, I have a couple of these and a lot of times Eric and I forget to bring one along when we go to like auctions or yard sales and stuff like that. Sometimes you can tell when something is like uranium glass and you know it's going to glow and other things you can't be quite sure of. So that's pretty much why I got it. It does not come with batteries so you do have to put batteries in it. But, you know, it's just a basic black light LED little flashlight. And this here I paid $3.48 for. I ended up picking up this um, pillow. This is for a tub. So for the bathtub. I actually have two other bathtub pillows. Um, and they worked fine and everything like that. But I was interested in this because it has like a backrest partition to it. It's not just like a head pillow. It's like a backrest pillow too. And I was really interested in that aspect because I like to take a lot of baths. Um, so this I tried out. It works great. It is so comfortable. It's way more comfortable with this back partition than just using a regular bath pillow. So I'm super happy with this. I think it came in different colors. Um, there's a bunch of suction cups on the back so it won't slip down. Um, anytime you use something like this, definitely like wet the suction cups first so you get a good stick. Otherwise, you're not going to get a good stick. And then it has this little hook here so you can hang it afterwards to dry out or what have you. So, and it seems like it's pretty good quality and I feel like it's going to last a while. And this here I paid $11.98 for and I'm really happy about it. Alright, I didn't test out this item yet. This is what they call a barbecue lighter, but I got this to light candles. And basically, I don't know if it's going to work without charging it, but it does come with a charging cord. And it's like a little taser. Um, let me see. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty, pretty cool. Um... And it has a lock feature, which is nice. So, you know, I would definitely keep this away from children, though, because what's coming out of that is enough to light, like, a flame on your candle wicks and, and things like that. So definitely be careful with these. It does kind of make a bit of a noise to it. Um, but that's what I got it for, to light candles. And it came in different colors. I chose pink. So I think this will work really well. And like I said, it comes with a recharging cable, which is nice. And for the lighter, I paid $7.48 for. So I feel like that's a really good deal instead of having to constantly buy um, like the long necked lighters. This has a pretty good reach on it to get down into like candle jars and stuff like that. 
I got two more pairs of sneakers because I'm obsessed with these sneakers. Um, if you have watched any of my other Timu haul videos, I had gotten a pair of teal sneakers like these. They are very breathable, like mesh sneakers. They're super soft, very comfortable. Um, you know, as I'm getting older, I feel like I'm all about comfort when it comes to my feet. Um, so not only are these comfortable, but they're also stylish as well. Um, I got a size 37, which is a women's size 7, and I think that it's pretty true um, size fit. And these ones were only $4.78. So these were on like a great sale. So now I have a pair of like pinky mauve colored ones to go with my teal ones. And then because I'm so obsessed with them, I actually got this pair here. And these are white with this really pretty floral print on them. Oh, I love these. So super cute. Like I said, they're so stylish. Every time I wear my teal ones, like, people are always like, oh, I love your shoes. Like, they want to know where I got them, and it's like, I got them on Timu, you know what I mean? They're super cheap, super affordable, and very comfortable. I mean, I always get compliments on them, which I think is kind of wild because they're just sneakers, but they are really cute. So, these ones here were a little more probably because of the print on them. I did pay $14.98 for the floral ones, but even still, super cute, and I know I'm going to love them because I love my teal ones. All right, I also picked up this, what I thought this was like toothpaste, but it's not necessarily toothpaste. This is called a color corrector foam. It is for your teeth. It is supposed to, um, brighten brighten your teeth it increases tooth brightness and reduces yellow tones as i've stated i am an avid coffee drinker iced coffees are my weakness so i do have a little bit of a problem with like you know coffee staining my teeth so i thought i'd try this um basically the direction said you're just to pump two pumps directly into your mouth and swish it around which i thought was so weird um i just put a little bit on my toothbrush and used it like a foamy type toothpaste instead because i don't know i was weirded out about just pumping it straight into my mouth i don't know i'm weird but i just thought it was weird too so i mean obviously i only tried it one time so far and that's not really going to do anything you know what i mean so until i actually finish it i'm probably not really going to see results so i'm, I'm not sure you know how it's going to work reviews said that you know they saw a difference that type of thing so we'll see um but it is called smile kit and i paid four dollars and four cents for it so we'll try it out and i will put links to all of the items down in my description as well and the last thing that i purchased is that thing the last thing that i purchased from timu uh was one of these i was seeing these like all over facebook for the longest time these um hair catcher type things um there's like this barbed it's not really sharp sharp but um it's got like this barbed edging on it here and basically you just like pull it across carpeting and stuff like that and it's supposed to get up like pet hair and human hair and all of that and it has a wooden handle so uh this does work i got it specifically for my steps i live in a townhouse so i have a lot of steps in my house uh, i got it specifically for my steps and the dog she sheds a lot my last dog didn't really shed very much but this one does so i thought this would be better at getting into more of the grooved areas of the stairs um that a vacuum just kind of has a hard time getting to um and it was getting stuff up but this is pretty how do i want to describe it it's pretty rough so i don't know if i would use it on 
upholstery. I mean, I'm sure you can, but I think it's a little rough. So I'd be super careful if you're using it on anything other than carpets because I think it's kind of rough. Uh, but it does it does work. And I paid what did I pay for this? I paid a dollar and thirty seven cents for it. So um, that's pretty much everything for this Timu haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know not everyone is a fan of of Timu. I understand Eric isn't either, even though like some of the things I buy he likes, obviously. Like he's playing with the toy with the dog and everything like that, but he's always like, because eh. you know, there are people like that and he is like that. Um, just don't like the, the the company and stuff like that but I've been like really happy with everything I've purchased the stuff is so affordable and I don't know I I really like it so I will personally continue to purchase from them until you know I feel like it's just not good anymore but I just don't see that happening because there's so much nice good stuff on there nice quality stuff so I hope you guys enjoyed let me know what you thought down in the comments if you have yourself purchased any of these items or if you have any suggestions of something that you think I might like to check out or anything like that so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you next time